Alrighty. So, I'm going to start with this. I've tried to make sure that the volume is adequate because the movies for this, regardless of the in-game volume settings, play at full volume and will blast your eardrums out. So hope that won't happen. Here we go. Will, however, blast my eardrums out. And then when the movies are done playing, I'll have to increase the volume, otherwise you won't be able to hear anything. Creator brought forth the shining jewels of the universe and all their secrets. One such jewel was the world that would be known as Septera. Its secret hidden within its core. I've got no idea. Seven distinct layers of continents called world shells orbit the planet, each connected to the other by a giant bioorganic spine. At the center of all lies the core, an immense biocomputer regulating the movements of the shells. The creator fashioned into this world a way in which man himself might one day inherit his power. He created twin keys that could be used to unlock this secret, granting the gift of the creator, like the kingdom of heaven. Every 100 years, the alignment of the upper continents creates a beam of light, which penetrates the depths of the core, activating it for a short period. At this time, the keys may be used to unlock its secrets. Many men attempted to possess these relics, but the world was not yet ready. Then there arose one that the Creator and his host of angels could not destroy. Gemma, a fallen seraphim who captured the keys to the core, the Creator in desperation sent Marduk, his only begotten son, to Septera, and then left the affairs of men forever. After a battle that raged for a hundred days, Marduk defeated Gena and retrieved the stolen keys. Teaching that the world was not yet ready for such power, he hid the ancient relics. But Marduk prophesied that one day, many millennia in the future, when the world was in grave danger, they would once again be found, and the power they could unlock would save the world from destruction. That time is now. Oskius threatens heresy by his words, Emperor Aspertine. It is not heresy. The artifacts are meant to unlock the secrets of the core. Now that we have found them, we must use them. The discovery of the keys that Madu hid from us so long ago truly bestows a great responsibility upon we of the Chosen, Marduk's people. But the next conjunction is over 50 years from now, and only at that time can they be used. So it was made. So it has been for millennia. This being so, I remain puzzled, Lord Duskius. Why, after so long, must we expect that law to change? Perhaps our task should be to preserve the keys for the future generations that will be able to use them. Or does Duskius intend to bring his awesome power to bear and create his own conjunction? Watch your tongue, boy. I am the direct descendant of Marduk, son of the Creator. It is my destiny to fulfill his prophecy. If I have to step over your corpse to do so, like I did your father's, so be it. Why do you talk so easily of corpses? How many lives must be wasted to achieve your ends? I very much doubt that it was Marduk's intent. Yes, please. 
Tell us how you will collapse time and bring the future to the present. Enough! My plan will bring light to the core in days instead of decades. Know this, Emperor Aspertine. In the prophecies, Marduk teaches that one of his blood shall arise to fulfill his words. I am the one who was foretold. It is my destiny. I will not tolerate interference by cowards hiding behind the wooden shield of petty politics. The power of the core shall be mine. The wooden shield of politics. He is a dangerous man. He may be of Marduk's blood, but bloodline does not make one great. But he will need the keys to fulfill his plan. Without them, he can do nothing. That is what we should fear. He will take them from us if he has to start a holy war to do it. Gunnar, can I count on your fleet? As my father's before me. Then protect the relics. You must not let Doskius change the destiny of the world to meet his own whims. As you wish. I like the weird, like, Adeptus Mechanicus thing that the Emperor's got going on. chosen ship in a long while. Grub, we need to tell Uncle about this. But did you see it, Maya? Those ships are grown, not built. Come on, let's go before it comes back. Runner can get us home fast. I refitted his legs this morning. You should come in and see Uncle. He asked about you today. Zero hope, Maya. I have to work on runner sensors next time. Promise. I thought the voice acting was really good until those two started speaking. What's up, Maya? I need to talk to Uncle. Is he here? Maybe. What's it worth to you? Uncle's in the other room, Maya. He'll be right back. Shut up, you traitor. You're cutting my profits here. Did you bring us anything from the junk piles? Not today, I'm afraid. Tori, are you causing trouble again? Uncle, while Grub and I were out junking today, we saw ships in the sky. They were definitely battleships of the Chosen heading east. Why are they here again? What are you so afraid of, Maya? They probably didn't even see you. It doesn't matter. The last time they came, when Maya was your age, battles between their own tribes happened here. Mother! Mother! Maya, we have to find shelter. Their ships strayed into our city. Many people died, including your parents. Since then, we've been a city of orphans and elders. It took ten years to rebuild. We can't let that happen again. Whatever. I know. I know. You and Maya have taken care of us ever since. You can never let us forget. You're too young to really remember the devastation. As your teacher, Aziz, would say, history falls into cycles, my boy. Mayor, what's the meaning of this? Search the place. They're hiding in here somewhere. Good day, Uncle. Good day, Miss Maya. It's, it's a fine, fine day, isn't it? it? Yes. The, the fresh, fresh air would do wonders, wonders for you, Uncle. All right, all right, enough. We're not here to eat lunch. We're here to arrest smugglers. You'll find no lawbreakers amongst the junkers. I'm the mayor of this town, and I can do as I like. Someone is smuggling weapons from the junk piles to a city on the world show below. Now, their greed is going to get us all killed. This has gone too far. Get out of our house. Now! Oh, don't think this is over. Where well, there's trouble, it's always the Junkers at the heart of it. Goodbye. Oh, shut up. Where did Tori go? I'm not sure. Probably to class. The place you are probably late for as well, Maya. Perhaps you can ask your teacher about these ships you saw. Hmm. 
Okay. This is going to be a little bit hard to get used to. Okay, so we have like a cool map thing I can bring up with Tad. What the yellow area is. Try and not blow out my eardrums. Okay. Skills are one is rifle shot, four is rifle Vulcan, and seven's rifle Gatling. Gives me no ability, as far as I can tell, to actually like compare them besides basic, medium, and strong. Can't see like the actual numbers for their damage or anything. <clears throat> We can hold six cards, eight cards, have a root and a core rune. That says leather armor, small engine is a core engine. Sure. How do we say it? Let's save game. Hmm. Okay, and there is some sort of an autosave, it looks like. Maybe. Because I definitely didn't save when I was just running around testing before. very frustrating because the mouse cursor is not like glued to the screen and so I want to like scroll left and so I'm trying to move the mouse to like the left edge and I just end up with my mouse on my desktop. I guess I can't scroll around, I just have to actually walk there. What else do you have to say, old man? You'd better not be late for class. Yeah, Orphans and Elders would be a great name for like a role-playing game. Just putting that out there. Tell me more about bread. The bread you baked smells good. Can I have some? <laughs> it's in the fridge. Grub's not too happy about how Mayor uses the work bots. Well... He knows better than to trust Mayor. Marduk knows that's why he left the city to live on his own. Do you think the Chosen ships mean us harm? The last time Chosen ships darkened our skies was over ten years ago. During a battle between their own... Why do I have to go to the temple today? You can't know only what you find in the junk piles, Maya. Aziz has much to teach. But he only talks about stuff that happened thousands of years ago. One must know where she came from to see where she is headed. Let's go get that bread because I think I totally forgot to pull the bread out. We found 1x bread. Okay, nothing else to loot in here. Okay, so yellow are load doors. On the map. I want to like 
be able to just look at the scene or get that. At least, like, I feel like it should be interesting. Hey. What's up? Have you seen Grub recently? Just this morning. Well, don't tell him. But Mayor is trying to duplicate his precious work pots. You think he can? Mayor? Not on your life. Is the mayor's name Mayor? It's just this is the stockpile. This map is hideous. Like some of these lines, I'm not sure what they actually represent. Who are you? Hello there. Would you care to buy anything? Do I have any money? Yes, I do. I think that right now we're using a small engine, right? So maybe I could buy a better engine. The core, but poor strike and power. Okay, shows me what that does to my stats. The thing is, I don't know what cores do. Extra cores. Oh, okay, it's the bar at the top. It's my like energy bar. So my core is basically my mana, I assume. Strike must be damage. Armor's armor. But what's power? What's the difference between strike and power? Once I know more about what these stats do. I think I'll hold off. Both of them are a big increase in... Well, both of them are upgrades, so... We just need to figure out which one actually works for us. Oh, okay. Like... I guess maybe we'll get a, another party member pretty quickly here. Hey, you guys. I hope so. You're staying away from the desert, right? We're not afraid to go out, Maya. Yeah, we're not afraid of anything. That's a chill. Okay, there's another... The old junker? How's the junker business these days? Pretty good. I tell you, there must be something going on up on the shell above. They're dumping junk like there's no tomorrow. Dumping junk like there's no tomorrow. Is so that how it works? Like, people on the higher shells just like throw their trash out to, and it lands on the lower shells and they salvage it? this big red blob on the on the mini mat about this table hey Maya Okay, Grub is my mohawk friend. I didn't realize. How about generator? How do core generators work? Oh, that's easy. A core engine takes core energy and converts it into power for weapons and equipment. Now, you can even boost output by taking some of your core power. Well, your gun, for example. Its generator supplies it with enough power for basic functions, but... Uh, for some things, it needs extra power, and, and it gets that from the core energy that you've built up. 
Oh, that explains everything. Have you ever been to any other world, Shell? <laughs> I've never been above or below Oasis. Oh, we get all we need from the junk the Chosen drop on us. Why go anywhere else? That guy's voice sounds really familiar. Is Mare taking good care of the work bots? Well, he's been tinkering around with them. I, I wonder what he has planned. Grub says hello. That boy gotta get out of the workshop more often. Yeah, boy, <laughs> he left when the mayor workshop. pissed him off. Grub's still mad at Mayor for misusing the work bots he built. I can't use the jukebox. It's a shame. Hey, Maya. I don't actually want to talk to you again. have him be interactable if that's the case. What's the sign? Soggy. Soggy something sart slothly. Got I utterly no clue what that sign says. Welcome. Look around. Oh, herbs. Here's poison. Reset status is to normal. Resurrect with partial hit points. Adds to hit points. Adds to strike. Wait, are these, um... These aren't consumable, are they? These are, like, rings. That's why they're so expensive. Okay, so we can go buy some bread if we need healing. I wish I could ask her what the name of her shop is. Junk, junk mail. Very junk themed village. Hello, take your time. Oh, can you sell clothing? Get some shoes. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess it was a child. I really didn't notice. Okay, so these things, when I hover over them, they don't show any differences on my stats. I'm assuming that means that they are equipped by like a different character, not me. Like this one specifically says robot boots. So that's for robots. And this, I'm assuming, is also for robots. Okay, if, if Maya can use it, then her portrait gets um, like a square around it. It gets the outline. Okay, so plastic coats are also, and thin coats are also a real product. Yeah, figuring it out.
Hey there, man. Uh, don't yeah. you have something better to do than to loiter around? Not really. For the robot soon. You shouldn't treat Grub's workbot so bad. You have to show him who's boss. And we know who that is, don't we? Yeah, right. The cursor's really wonky. Work faster, bot! I wouldn't count on Grub to repair the workbots if you break them. That sheet? What are they even I wouldn't doing? let him near them anyway. They're mine now. Well, he wouldn't have left if you had used the bots for what he intended them for, collecting junk from the desert. Ah, Grub's too narrow-minded. There are millions of uses for the bots. <laughs> you just wait and see. How are you bots doing? Hello. Hello. How's How Mr. Nice Grub today? today? Grub may have built you, but I own you now. So get back to work. This. What did I do? Whoa, stop, please. <coughs> Let's lead back up to the orbits. <coughs> yes. Ready. Assuming that we're already in downtown Oasis, we go to the smelting complex for the world map or the junk heap. Actually, am I in the junk heap right now? Is that where I am? No. That is such a weird look. I kind of want them to like explore around and make sure there aren't like items hanging around on the floor somewhere. Like in a Nacronox there were always like potions of hidden in corners. I don't know if this is like the sort of game that has that. Sorry, Maya. No one may enter the work area today. Sorry, Maya. No one may enter the work area today. Okay. They do some kind of work in the junk heap. What about the smelting? Sorry, Maya. No one may enter the work area today. Okay, okay, I get the message. Let's go to uh, Aziz's temple or whatever. Immediately told to. Whoa, hello. What are you? Hmm, looks like wire conduits. That's conduits. The key item. We. I guess we will need that for a quest or something. Someone's, someone's looking for their conduits. Sure. up here? I can't. That's a really steep ramp. 
Let's see. I'm just testing this. I did have a few crashes, and so I'm going to be saving, I think, quite frequently. Hundreds. I guess not. I guess is this fan blocking me? Do I need to I turn off that fan first? Aha. Uh -huh. I have no way to interact with it right now. But I guess we'll be coming back here. Nice to see you too. Hey, Maya, what's up? The mayor is using your work bots as his own little police force. I figured as much. That's why I left Oasis to work out here. Well, you could still come by and see us every once in a while, you know. Sorry. Sometimes I lose track of time. Guess that's it. Hey there, runner. Nice to see you too. You need co oh, what is this? It's a power generator. Power. Okay, we are collecting many random parts. Miss Maya, how are you? Does he have like a staff? Seems like a weirdly low tech weapon for use. Rob's workshop is to the south. Let's try and find a path that doesn't have much of it. Oh my god, is that like a stock Puma sound effect? Glorious. Uh, I, I don't even know what's happening on, well, on the, the mini map. Uh -oh. I want to explore and stuff, but I don't really want to do a lot of fighting right now because I don't know what I'm doing. So let's just try and get through this area. Whoa! Okay, so it definitely 
is. your XP, how... how many XPs do I need to level up though? Okay, so we can kill like two or three more of these things to level up. These children have to fight vicious wolves to get here as well. You're late for class. And where's Tori out chasing coin again? He's not here. Well, let us start without him. Are you familiar with the legends of Mardu? Yes, he was the great hero who defeated Gemma with the help of the Seven Winds. You get ahead of yourself, child. You know, the final scene without the benefit of the first act. Marduk is but one of the principal characters of the ancient stories. Together, they all rule the use of spells. As you know, a great energy and power emanates from the central core of Septera, harnessed from the rotation of the world shells themselves. This very power is used by the core to regulate the rotations of the shells, creating an eternal equilibrium. The excess energy is radiated out of the core into the world. We use this energy called core power to run our machinery and cast spells. To cast spells, one must use ancient relics called fate cards to draw core power. Each card is its own spell, but they can be combined to create varied effects. Up to three cards can be combined, each played by a different user, each adding its own power. If any more than three are aligned, then the power is lost. Fate cards are ruled by the demigods of our world called Fates. The first is Marduk, son of the Creator and Fate of War, who defeated Gemma in the Battle of the Seven Winds, banishing him to the pits of Janak. The second, Kira the Angel, Fate of the Heart, who helped Marduk with her light and became his queen. The third... Dogo, the trickster fate of cunning, who used his illusions to ensnare Gemma. And finally, Gemma himself, Lord of the Dark, and fate of demons, who ruled Septera in mockery of the Creator, soiling the Father's great work with the blood of his children. Each of the fates can be combined with any other, and once you find them, you can use the cards as many times as you wish. As long as you have enough core energy. You must practice this technique to learn the ways of magic. That is all for today's lesson. Do the ancient heroes still exist? Their power does, and it helps watch over and protect the world. Sometimes I feel as if my mother is watching over me. Pray she watches over us all, my child. That's pretty stupid, child. Your mother's dead. Oh, wait, we can actually ask him about stuff. Your thirst for knowledge is yet unquenched, I see. Very well. What would you learn of now? Tell me about Mayor. Where, where the heck's my cursor? Second, it was there. There we go. Yeah, tell me about the mayor. 
Mayor is using Grub's workbots as guards. Mayor shouldn't be trusted with such power. Still, the workbots won't do anything against Grub's programming. But if they were to forget... Pray they do not. Well, the mayor's name is just Mayor. He won't say the mayor. Those children go. Different between brown ones and gray ones. You have to heal that Oh, come on. So these ones must be a little bit stronger because I'm doing less damage to them. I think he's doing more to me. Please don't kill him, sir. Uh, use a Brad, eat a Brad, please. I don't think that we actually want to fight these uh, colored ones. Come on. Okay, let's use our card on. almost enough to level up. Uh, let's not fight them now again. I'll have to fight this one. I got myself in that dead end. He's so much slower than the other one. to a level, does that heal me? No, it does not. Oh. only seem to affect these four and not the speed stat here. And I don't know the difference between strike and power. Like, is strike damage and then power is, is what? I don't know. 
Is it maybe that power is like special attack for our cards or something and strike is our weapon attack? I don't know. Yeah, let's go back down. Well, the robots are still fine. I guess we'll just go back home and report that we indeed went to the temple. I might go buy another bread first. No. I'm trying to This weird named place, yeah. Welcome. Look around. Give me that bread, please. Oh. Okay. Tori, where were you at lesson? Um, uh, I had other plans. Uncle's gonna kill you. Not if you cover for me. Whoa. Tori wasn't in class today. <laughs> Immediately what? go tackle. He asked me to cover for him. You better find him, Maya. Do you think he's in trouble? Well, let's hope not. Uh, check the water pumping station. He usually hangs out there. It's definitely not there. The robot won't let him. Or was the pumping station the place with that big fan? Yes, we are going back out. finds out it's not my problem hey who's that maya you're screwing up my deal i can't believe you're the smuggler tori hey a guy's gotta make a buck you're under arrest for smuggling weapons into wind city of world shell 3. wait oh really uh, i'm injured Kill me. Yeah, I'll 
try my card. Maybe it's more effective against them than it is. Oh, oh, I have no core energy. Sweet. this but like go barely. This looks like I've stabbed them in the shoulder. Looks more like that than their swords planted in the ground next to them. Dang. Got two bread. And healing. Still a guy's card. Don't let her get away! They're not dead. Okay, I'm not a murderer. Awesome. Let's just go check out drugs. I'm a wanted criminal now. Hey, Maya, what's up? <laughs> really? I don't have any options to say uh, anything about what just happened. The mayor is using your work bots as his own little police force. I figured as much. <laughs> hey there, runner. Nice to see you, too. Well, don't, uh, don't backseat me. Go talk to Uncle Owen.
downtown. I should have known Maya was at the center of this. If you see them, let us know. Stand guard. Don't let those two crooks get away. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry, Maya. We can't let you into the city. Right. I guess that's why I would need to go talk to Grub. Hey, Maya, what's up? I'm glad they didn't try and capture me or anything. The mayor is using your work by... <laughs> hey there, runner. Nice to see you, too. Miss Maya, how are you? some way for me to get around them? Didn't feel like there was. I'm sorry, Maya. We can't let you into the city. I'm sorry, Maya. We can't let you into the city. I'm sorry, Maya. We can't let you into the city. Thought I was gonna get away with that. Okay, why not? Can't talk to you. I'm sorry, Maya. We can't let you into the city. Yeah, we have to stop you, report oh, okay. you to the mayor, and have you arrested. Nah, you don't gotta do that. Mayor treats you like junk. Grub made you, not mayor. Yeah, she's got a point. He is a jerk, isn't he? He's a slave driver. He treats us like robots. Oh, I'm sorry, miss. We can no longer talk to you in an official capacity. We're on strike. Yeah, we're on strike. It's convenient. Hey, Fatman. Maya, they think you're the smuggler. It's Tori. He's selling weapons he finds in the junk piles. He went to hide out in Outlaw Canyon. You must find him and set things straight. But Outlaw Canyon lies past the pumping station. I've never gone that far. Perhaps Grub can help you. Okay, okay. Go get some Grub. Arrest her! We can't talk to you unless you're an official union representative. We want better pay! I don't pay you at all, you idiots! Yeah, that's the problem.
Hey, Maya, what's up? Hey, Maya, what's up? Tori's in trouble. He's been selling weapons from the junk piles. Sounds like his style. Yeah, well, he's run away to Outlaw Canyon because some soldiers from World Shell 3 are after him. Uncle sent me to find him before they do. Outlaw Canyon, huh? Wow, that's past the pumping station. Uncle thought you could help me get past it. Uh, I've got to finish the repairs of the... Mayor's How did Tori get past? <laughs> Runner, heel! He gets upset when you talk about Mayor Maya. Can you help me? Hmm. Anything that goes against Mayor is cool by me. Count me in. Runner can help us out. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, Renner has a lot of health. Okay. Two breads. Hopefully that's enough. Oh, I can see all of us on the world map? I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. That's, that's cute. Let's see. Looks like it may control that fan. Let's see if it opens. Oh. If we had something to generate some time. power, we could short it out. How about your power generator? Perhaps if we had something to connect it to the panel. Perhaps a conduit? I don't have a conduit. It looks like a control panel. Why don't I see the conduit there? Oh, okay. That feels like a little bit like a like a point and click game. Here we go!
runner takes a long time to, uh, I guess, slow down. Know what happened? Oh well. I don't think we got a speed threat, even though we killed one. Look at their skills again. Okay, so I guess the cards are shared between everyone. Let's fight this. I did see when I looked at the whoa giant enemy crab. He just wiggled his butt at me. Do I need to like wait time things to uh... No, because I can't do anything while it's What? Yeah, I'm not understanding this encounter. Is there a weak point I need to wait for?
I don't think this is how you're intended to fight. This is how you're supposed to do damage to him. how you're supposed to fight it, just chip at it with like one hit point at a time, but it feels pretty bad. everything. this way. This looks like a big dead end that I'm on right now. That's fine, that might mean there's something good at the end of it. Colorful beetles.
What happens when my character dies? I think I have like a Phoenix down. Okay. I guess I can do bread, but... Actually, does bread work on the robot? I guess it would. It doesn't say it doesn't. not get much XP from that. Okay, then another giant enemy crab. You're kidding me. Really? I just don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. If I always do one damage, should I even bother charging up? No, I shouldn't. I should just be attacking as soon as I can. Either way, it's one game. And it still feels weird. I don't think this is the intended way to do this. But. Yeah. 
chair must be created. Okay, that was much easier. Figure out how to fight them. I need to make sure I buy some better gear when I can. We have uh, money now. Uh, maybe out of... Even out of combat, he can't use repair. Does it need um, core energy, maybe? Um. I was hoping I could sneak past it while I was asleep. Oh no. Okay, let's take out the giant crab first. Although actually these little ones are doing way more damage to us. Maybe... Maybe I should. I need to eat bread. Yeah. We'll take out the little bit How did I do that, Alex?
Actually, how do I tell what... Okay, there. So Grub is the level 2. Ooh, there was loot on that side. I just want to turn around and... So we'll be able to come back here. Crap. Now let's go and try and get it. Can't leave loot behind. This is a pain in the ass fight here. Okay. Well, we need to go for that green one ASAP. Let's it. Huh. Okay, so the robot can eat bread, but it does not give him 50 hit points. <laughs> it gave him less. That's poopy. Okay, I should have just done that.
Alright. Chest in sight. This would better be something good in that trap. Oh, we got another bread. Potion of Hearthstone. Smelling Salts Resurrect, okay. Potion heals the whole party. What's a Hearthstone? Is that, um, like something that I equip? Looks like a ring. Protect partially from poison, sure. Might as well wear it. Nice. Now we can go down. Like we'll have to go down onto the sand and then like across and up again to get to the little door. Kinda weird. Okay, these are two things are weak. I'm gonna take them out. And let's attack Mom too.
We got more bread. I hate that the combat is in like real time. We even got another bread. Meet up for the one that we use. Uh, so I'm wondering, looks like there's a big section to the, uh, if we go up a little bit and then left. There's a dead end there. Maybe there's a chest there. Also, if we go south and to the right, there's like that weird, weird looking corridor that leads like into the back. There might be a chest there too. Let's, uh, first let's go secure a wrap to the exit. That way, if we have to, um, Make an escape on low health, we'll be able to. Oh, this sucks. This is what a crappy matchup these pair keep to. Okay, everyone focus. Kill the beautiful. So a little damage to the uh, beetle anyways. What? Grub is level three now. We are almost Maya's almost level four. Good. So I think that this is basically the way out secured.
Yeah. Let's go explore, see if we can get some loot. We can just level up a bit. Giant enemy crab? Sure. Oh, with beetles. I'm so excited that it's just a crab by itself. before it makes its attack. There was no loot at the end of this path. Awesome. Oh well. I see a sleepy crab. I'm not seeing any treasure out over here. Uh, let's go fight the sleepy crab. Sorry, Mr. Crab, but I need your XP. Takes one more hit, and then uh, Grub will eat some bread. How many breads do I have? Three breads. Ooh. 
supposed to eradicate all life in this area? The crab exterminators. Okay, I guess I guess that's everything then. Get up here and then I'll save my game. Stealing from the saddlebags or whatever? Sure. Nope, no one minds. So, is this place like deserted? Well, there's a load door over here. Well, howdy, stranger. What? Where? Bounty hunters. Where's Outlaw Canyon? It's to the east, but law-abiding folk don't go there. And don't say I didn't warn you. Wait, wait, wait. What? <laughs> this town is cut off from the rest of the shell. Where do you get your supplies from? You don't want to know, kid. Need to remember, like, talk to them as, as everyone. So we have the saloon, and that's the only, the only option. Sure. Let's go check out the saloon. Well, howdy. Have you seen a... What is no, that woman I got something to show you. <laughs> Have you seen a... No, but I got something to show you. <laughs> yeah, show Grub? Leave her alone. You call yourselves men? Forget it, Grub. They aren't worth the effort. That's it. Your ass is grass. Oh, shit. Really? Okay. What? Um, you speed, speed grub of bread. Your grub. They've got like weird pots on their backs and they look like they have like bug legs. I don't understand. What are these? Are these just people in like funky suits? Their helmets remind me of they like brown hair. Oh. 
I don't think we're supposed to be fighting these guys right now. What's that behind there? Is that like a mechanical bowl, but it's not a bowl, it's like a weird alien creature? Missing runner. Needs more bread. Huh. Maybe I need to use magic. these little magic circles around me. Oh, no. Okay, so the magic did get rid of this circle and they immediately put it back. Oh, heck yeah. the water attack on him. I killed Grub. Wow, I'm an idiot, so that's cool. One hit point, I was so happy that I had it. I could heal him before the poison killed him. <laughs> Indeed it is. Thank you, uh, hello there. The Crimson Cantata? Uh, I think that we'll be reloading. This does not feel like a combat that we should be having. I should have gone to that wall canyon first, I think. Okay, I think I have some that can res um, from smelling salts. I feel like waste. Oh no, we almost four hit points though. By partial hit points, it really means like no hit points. Might as well have just left it dead. What the heck? But the best kill runner. Sorry, runner. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Then again, I guess bread heals him, so it is also a robot that can eat bread to regain health. So I guess it goes both ways. Am I able to like just barely pull through this? I don't know. Let's cut my mouth shut. I even have to fight this. Oh 
wonder, do you keep the poison status effect outside of combat? You'd think, you'd think. Please, please stop. No, you did not have to heal myself ASAP. Heal, eat a root. What a waste of that root. So much healing. Okay, we'll just wait until it's fully charged. It's just like a couple more hits. Wait, are they alive again? Yes, okay. Uh, no, let's not use the root. We could use the potion. Just leave them be for a moment. We'll save in a different slot. <sighs> yeah, I'm about to talk to everyone. I just, jeez, I'm gonna look at what what the heck this is. It's like a mechanical bug. Thing. Is it one of those creatures that was outside that I looted all those roots from? I oh, know this isn't. Get the your bar drinks at the bar. bar. Sure. Just want to explore. Now rent a room. Please let me rent a room for the night. Do you have supplies for sale? Yeah, yeah, sure. Just don't mess up my place. What'll it be? Oh. Yes. Deal with running. How does that work? Oh, I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, I will rest up in a bed, but I'm going to buy some breads first. Don't... Don't buy breads? Oh. Get three breads. Four breads. Yeah, everyone. Some new equipment. Straw on the floor. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes. Lots of bullet casings. And, and probably blood. Yeah, maybe we should just upgrade our shoes and stuff. Sure, we have we have some cash. Okay, slide so vest is a down downgrade. Oh no, it's just one speed lower, but it's more armor. Is that worth it? I definitely want the shoes. It looks like the engines will be worthwhile. Uh, that's a lot of money, though. I don't even know how much renting a room costs yet. We'll just go with this, I think. I hope that's not a horrible mistake. Hey, give me a room. Will it be? Do you have a room for the night? 50 coins? Yes. The price of a bread.
the airship. Oh, this is kind of... So they have a single room to rent. And it's like... Like a loft style bedroom. With a bathtub just chilling. Like anyone can just walk up these stairs and see you in the bathtub. That's very, very interesting. Now let's go put on that new equipment. Equip. And then we can sell our small engines. Oops. Nice. Oh, that even refilled my um, core energy. Thank goodness. You have a coat. We'll maybe look at a... I don't have enough money for a plastic coat anyways. Well, that's fine. We're all gear geared up. So I'll ask him about Tori. Will it be? Do you know a kid named Tori? Sure, he sells stuff out in Outlaw Canyon. Oh, he doesn't really keep it much of a seat. I got nothing to say. No! What are you doing? I thought he was just going to blast that guy. <laughs> that terrified me. Jeez. Okay, let's go actually go to Outlaw King. What's on this side, though? Doesn't really look like it. So yeah, what canyon it is. Look what we got here. Passage requires coin, lass. If I refuse? Then we'll take it from your dead carcass. Oh, no, Just is that one it. of those same guys from the bar? Is this whole place going to be full of them? Who's stronger? We'll just go after this guy for now. Oh, I didn't mean to touch it. Um. So much more damage now than earlier. Okay, nice. Really? My instinct was to have Maya be the magical person and grab just be completely worthless, but. doesn't feel very magical. I mean, I guess he has a staff. But I just figure he is just an engineer with a stick. That was the feeling I got from him. Just figured that the, the blue-haired protagonist person would be the, the magical chosen one character. Him or these folks? I guess I don't need to go down this area, but there could be a chest. It could be loot. Let's do it. Wait, what is that down there? Oh, that's just like a tree. 
Who's that guy? What do you hear? Wait, this guy's not attacking me. Do I have to step in the right space for him to attack me? Oh, okay. Oh, not this bullcrap again. Ah, uh, jeez. I'm gonna focus on this guy up here. some water at this guy. Oh, this time the water didn't um, destroy his magical seal. Okay, I guess I don't know how that works. I thought I'd figure it out, but... Maybe I need to wait for Runner to fully charge. They stole gold from me. Oh no. You will die for that, sir. Please tell me I get that back when I go. A lot of gold too. Uh, just go over there. How much gold do I get? Yeah. Okay, I think I think that's slightly more than it stole, but What's that dog. And no chest or anything? What a ribbon. <laughs> yeah, we did level someone's level four. And this runner is level four. Yeah, sure, we can fight these guys. It's just two of them. We take out him first, though, before he creates a stupid magical circle. Oh, 
before he creates another. Actually, is the tougher one. I think that bar fight just traumatized me when it came to the other guys. What? Yeah, this guy's like definitely tougher. We'll go for them first next time. Herb. Here's poison. It's actually handy to have here. This. I'm like under part of the bridge. So, is this just two people right here? Now, let's see what happens when we go after that other guy first. Mr. Whirlwind Claw. The amount of core energy that we have is just really pathetic and worthless. It's like use two spells and you're just out until you free for waste of room stuff. they have on their backs. What are those burns? <laughs> yes, without sending a message. Indeed. Yes, sand? Like, like Dara? Are the sand ninjas? It's red. Whatever it is, it's bright red. Um, I guess we could use some breads. And we're going up this way. <laughs> Kool-Aid. I would think that would spill out. I think that would work very well. In a jug on your back. Okay, I'm not going to go that way unless we see if there's a chest there. What? Oh, this is weird. We're fighting on this little bridge. Dog can't like 
can't, uh, like, he won't friendly fire hit me if I use his beam can on the guy behind us, will he? His ability does say that it attacks everyone in a line. There's the, the guy wandering around below us, just oblivious to this combat. <laughs> yes. Is it a wooden scythe? I thought it was a pickaxe. I thought it was some kind of, I don't know, red dirt miner. Better, they're playing too much Minecraft. How many breads do we have? We still have three? Okay, I'm not gonna waste another bread then. I just wanna try and get a peek at what is over over here. If we did fight those guys, is there anything worthwhile? Oh, yeah, I see you guys' heads. Oh, that's a new, new type of enemy right there. Weird bald ninja guy, but probably like twice as spiky or something. What? Why are there beetles on their side? Do they tame these beetles? That's not cool. I'm going to have to deal with uh, grub. Leave it to the ninjas to be friends with beetles. <laughs> Two bugs. I guess now. Oh crap, crap, crap. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Grub. I forgot about you. That guy sucks though with uh, how we're positioned. Can I kill this guy before he beat Come on. It wasn't that bad. That guy's whirlwind attack was, I think, more damaging. <laughs> I should give Grub that, um, I have a ring that protects somewhat against poison. Seems like mostly just Grub getting poisoned. They can sense how weak and useless he is. I guess I could use that anti poison thing. Here, use a herb. He's probably just gonna get immediately poisoned again, but 
Time will kill it before it launches its attack, I think. takes for them to all like uh, get hair that looks like like this like so many of the guys with this weird green clown hair Kill grub. I'm wasting all of that bread. It was pretty good. I don't know. I like um, JRPGs. I know this isn't J, but it's sort of like a JRPG. Uh, I played through another sort of older Western JRPG style game called uh, Anachronox not that long ago, and that was fun. I had a blast playing that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it gives off, you know, some vibes of it, but... When I saw um, what the uh, main city, like, what Oasis looked like, I was like, that's just a Midgar ripoff, but... Uh, but no, I think that it is actually... seems somewhat original. But I did initially, I, I had some doubts How and thought it wouldn't just me? be a Uncle Final Fantasy ripoff. You are all under arrest for smuggling. Who are you? Who are those guys? You're oh. oh. <laughs> what? What's going on? Then they just leave? Did they have to kill the guard, Dugan? Look, I told you, they were about to find out that I was at the heart of this scheme. Yeah, keep up the good work, kid. With this last shipment and the help of my chosen friend here, we're ready to take Wind City from the Guard of the Seven Winds. How could you do this, Tori? People are dying because of you. I didn't know, I swear. Tori, go back to Oasis and warn Uncle. I don't know what the Chosen are up to, but last time we lost most of our people. What are you gonna do, Maya? I'm going to World Shell 3. Someone has to warn the people of Wind City that their country is in danger. Why? Well, <laughs> someone has to right the wrong you began. Sometimes I Why just, just don't understand you, Maya. Sometimes I don't think that you've ever listened to a word that Uncle Aziz has taught you. Maya's right, Tori. Tell Uncle that we'll be back soon. You don't I hate to Tori's go, voice. I'm sure Uncle would feel better if you weren't alone. We can use these Helgak mounts. Hey, those cost me an arm and a leg. Tori, uh, go ahead. But those guys came over here. Killed 
some sort of like an official, like a guard or something, right in front of us, loudly proclaimed, "Oh yeah, we're going to go attack this city," and then just walked away and left us here. <laughs> Seems very strange. Soul stone. What is that? Oh, okay, that's rad. Oh, bird. Yeah, nothing else here. Yeah, but then Tori's um, thing should have been instead of saying, but why? He should have said, but how, or something. Like, why would you want to warn that city that they're about to be attacked? Can't do much about that. The cinematics are just really freaking loud. I find it amusing you care so much for the safety of the Wind City Guard, Selena. The death of the Holy Guard is only going to cause trouble with Bowman, their leader. As president of Wind City, I have no control over the Guard. They're an anachronism that I've been trying to purge for years. With your help, I'll become sole dictator of Wind City. Milady, Lord Dosky's ship what? approaches. The dialogue. Very on the dialogue. How goes the campaign, my dear? According to plan, my lord. Lord Dosky's, your power is unmatched. Ah, spare me, dog. Just remember our bargain. Your city is an important supply base on our way to the lower shelves. Selena, when is the invasion to begin? As soon as Bell I actually do like shows them. up with his forces, the, my the lord. Sprites. Where is he anyway? None of your concern, my dear. He and General the sprites look a lot better than the, uh, the like, close-up portraits. Shall soon lay before your feet, great one. Now, everything just walking around on um on the map Are you sure? looks great. Marduk once said that a man who takes freedom from a people is doomed to die by their hand. I'm simply sparing him the inevitable. As you wish. No, I have Don't not. Start caring for these people, Selena. But I would probably Last like time it. Shell saw my presence. I was fighting Gunner's father. The entire Mongol city fell beneath us that day. But they are not the chosen. There's just there's just too many things to play. Prepare to land. It was him, this Doskius, that destroyed Oasis, and he doesn't even care. Maya. Shh, oh, okay. Don't hear us. I'll now take a look at that. I wish this had like an enhanced remake. Fine, but right now we have to get out of here. It was a real we pain getting us to run in Windows guard. 10. We have to find Bowman and warn him before Wind City becomes another Oasis. It's a weird looking ship. No, I keep trying to use uh, WASD to walk around. Move my cursor go there. Okay, so we have question mark. Question mark. That, these don't look like settlements, they just look like trees. Yes, let's see what's in this. Hello, anyone home? It's locked. Let's have Runner uh, blast it open.
Why is there no music on this screen? You're really quiet. It's locked. It's locked. Locked. Let's see if this uh, chorus is locked. <laughs> yeah. No, I just said it was locked five seconds ago, but it's locked. Okay, I can't say I'm too fond of these leaves. It looks like someone took, like, photographs and then made them, like, really weird and low res. I would have preferred, like, actual, like, pixel art or something. Yes. Okay, there's like a ring of stones around this tree. And this doesn't connect to anything on the map, so... Whoa! What? Uh, hello, sir. I should eat bread! Can you repair? Hopefully this guy isn't... Oh my god, what? When did I last say it? Well, this guy's OP. We might need to run away. I haven't run away yet. I don't know how it works. Oh, I've run away. Let's, um... Let's come back later. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Sir, we've encountered a life form. Draw your weapons. Okay, we have a city. Hopefully we can sleep there. Um, the very creatively named South Farm. And a rad looking graveyard. Let's go to this farm. Hoping we can sleep somewhere here. Hey kids, who are you? Where are you from? Shell 2. Shell 2 is full of homeless garbage eaters and scum. <laughs> You're not wrong. Wait. So, they're on the shell below us though, right? Like... So if we just, like, pick through all the junk that people on the shell above us throw down, then, like, these guys must get all of our junk, right? Or is that not how it works? Are they actually like the more affluent shell? Where's the home of the Holy Guard? Wind City to the north. The passions of its people rise daily over matters of state. That's a strange thing to say. Chapter 5, Weapons. Can I interest you in anything? Uh, perhaps. Oh, okay, we don't even have whoever can use swords. <laughs> Wait, are there, a medium engine is an upgrade to an engine? It's 
sort of nonsense is that? Surely unqualified engine would be the medium one, but whatever. We don't really have enough money to waste here. We do need some more bread, though. I don't think that we will get that at the blacksmith. Okay, we can, though, sell old duds. Small engines. Skins. What is skins? Okay. Is it like an armor someone can wear? Had an armory icon, right? Animal skin armor. Yeah, I guess that no one can wear it yet. I am going to put the heartstone on um, uh, Grub. Now, what do you do here, fat man? Good point, Ron. Oh, LOL. Well, what a great big doohickey that is, huh? You have an interesting collection of gadgets here. Gadgets? You know, stuff, devices, cool things. Oh, you mean my doohickeys. <laughs> oh, you mean my doohickeys. There's some cool stuff here. Ah, oh, yes, that, that is definitely what a med engine is. We can take roots off of these ones too? No. I kind of like these weird, derpy mounts. Um, very, this disappoints me, though. These weird pigeon chickens, they should all, like, fly away when I go. Like, I should be able to scatter them. That's not satisfying at all. Okay, I guess they're, they'll have beds here. When will it be? No. Can we get directions? What am I, a map? Order <laughs> something. Drinks are five coin. Map, um, the map. Hey, are you... Hey, order something or get out. Drinks are five coin. Coin or drink? Coin? We don't have enough money. Too bad. How about a drink? Can I get some information then? Whatever you want, baby. <laughs> When'll it be? Tell me about the guard. Do you know anything about the Holy Guard? Those crazies up in Wind City are trying to figure out whether they want them anymore. Their president's trying to throw them out. We could use them. Protect us from things that go bump in the night. Let's sleep. We need our Do energy. you have a room for the night? Hopefully it's a flat 50 coins everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I know. Anything for you, baby. All I have to do is get a drink. Maybe he thought that we couldn't afford a drink. What's the name of this place? The Helgax Head. What's the name of this place? The Helgax Head. What's up with her? Her mic quality sounds very weird. You know anything about the Holy Guard? Just that they teach the demon sword of Marduk. Demon sword? When Marduk defeated Gemma, he trapped his demon servants in another dimension. Oh. The demon sword move will unleash them on your enemy. Thanks for, for that information. How come there aren't more small towns? Because of the curse from the old graveyard. People nowadays gather up in larger places for protection. That you, dude. 
Beware the what are you night. wearing? Evil walks the darkness. Do you know anything about Bowman and the Holy Guard? No, oh, they could stop the evil that walks at night, but they hardly come around anymore. They got too many troubles of their own. My guess is we'll be being sent to the graveyard pretty shortly. How are you? Stay in at night, friend. It's not safe to walk the streets at night. The undead will get you. Oh. Well, from this guy's okay. skin tone, he looks pretty undead already. <laughs> Yeah, let's skedaddle. What about you? Why won't this stupid disc <laughs> work? Excuse Mostly. me. Oh, can I help you? Where can we find the Holy Guard? Wind City. But they aren't in the mood for visitors. Why's that? They recently lost several of their brothers to the junkers of Shell 2. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wall. It's that momentary sad portrait that we got. What town is this? South Farm. But we've seen better times. Between the politics of the northern city and the perils of the graveyard, we barely get by. The graveyard? Aye. The curse festers there. If you want to learn more, seek the carver. He's carver. full of old tales. I like the butcher. What's this town's main trade? We raise Helgak in the farms. Then you lady. Where's the home of the Holy Guard? <laughs> yeah. Wind City to the north. The passions of its people rise daily over Oh, we already talked to you. Yeah, I don't want to talk to you again. Have Grub talk to this guy or this lady. Why won't this stupid disc player work? Excuse me. Oh, can I help you? What disc player? What's the name of this place? South Farm. That's a stupid name. What have you got there? It's a disc player I got at the World Bazaar, but it's not working. Let's see it. Hmm. Here's your problem. Try it now. Oh, thank you. Here, let me get you. Just have to hit the on me. button. Bird seed. Wait, can I feed these birds? Cursor, please, where are you? Cursor? I've lost my cursor. Um so I can still use the key. There we go. Okay, now they're all sort of, uh, no, they aren't moving, reacting to me. I she threw some bird seed down. Bird seed. What's with that bird seed? I can't give it to the birds? Then you give me ten bird seed and I can't give it to the birds. Those are the birds I want to feed though. Unless we find like chocobos. Some weird looking melons. Do you know a man named Bowman? Well, we only deal with Dugan and his officials now. Bowman is a leader of the Holy Guard up in Wind City, but if you deal with him, Dugan's likely to stop trading with you. He can teach you that demon sword. Can you direct me to Wind City? Up north, but be careful. Those Wind City folk are fighting amongst themselves. I think... What the hell is this? This map is cursed.
there. I just want to buy some breads. Do you sell breads? What can I do for you? What do you sell here? I carve art from the bones of the Helgak. What do you know of Helgak? A majestic race of air-dwelling creatures. They float upon the wind as easily as fish <laughs> in the sea. But how? They take up air within just themselves so and heat it, allowing flight. You sell bread, lady. Welcome. Look around. Yes. I'll take five bread. Grenade. I wish I had enough money. Oh, well, we need the breads. We're bad at this. We'll die without breads. Okay, so I still don't know how to get to this other area. There's another door over here. Did I go in here? Yes, I did. Yeah, there's this other like area on the right hand side and I have no idea how to get over it. Oh, unless, is that, is that just in, is that just the, the weapon shop? No. Yeah, I've got no idea. Let's just go, go to Wind City. They are excellent. Oh, okay. No, so we have spooky graveyard. Forest. Whoa, what is this? Hogak oh, Port. Oh, let's check out the port. Actually, I'm going to say. Yeah, I know. No guardrails, nothing. I mean, yeah. I don't think I'd, I'd walk across that. Okay, so we're in a queue. Hello. Passport? I don't have a passport. No travel is allowed without one. You can apply for one at the Wind City Capitol Building. All right. What kind of ships are you running? Our ships are crafted of wood and steel, slung underneath Helgak. Helgak? Great flying beasts. Do they eat bird seed? <laughs> Alrighty. Let's go to Wind City. I guess I'll take a hint. Oof. We can take a peek in the graveyard. How big is it? Okay. Well, there aren't zombies running around. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know what the technology level is supposed to Oh, no. This looks like if I look at it, it will attack me. Let's save. Is there a way to like, get rid of some of these older ones? Like, besides just saving over them with the same name. Because if I go in and, like, change the name, then it just creates a new save. I'm gonna have, like, five million saves by the end of this. Where's the head? Oh. I actually thought that that... I just thought it was, like shaped and I thought that it was like a cyclops monster and that its head was that nodule in the middle under its shoulders. There's some mechanisms inside this statue. Can you activate them? Yeah, I think there's a piece missing. I'll bet the secret lies in the missing head. Yes, we're going on a head hunt. Okay, there's like a a passageway back here. Oh, a chest. And a bird. A silver clove. Okay, let's see if we can feed this bird. Aha! Alright. I'm guessing that there won't be any point to that until all ten of them are fed or something. How tough could this be? Okay. It doesn't do the jump five feet and then jump back. No, <laughs> shorts. <laughs> yes. It's the pinnacle of zombie fashion. Get to hit it. Ectoplasm. This is not Chris's blood. Ooh, what a mess. Cool. The blood is eating up the grass like an acid. Wicked. Rob, you're an idiot. Guessing maybe, maybe if we had like a jar or something, we could take some of it with us. I don't know. There are bits of this game that do feel a bit like um, like a point-and-click adventure game. It's because of how mouse-heavy it is and moving stuff from the inventory and clicking that on stuff. Reservoir. Ah, uh, sure, we'll go there first. It's locked. You sure? Do you want to check again? It's locked. Oh. Well, we tried. OK. 
Okay, that's a more normal looking map. Can I feed this bird? Oh, where are you going, bird? Oh, okay, there's lots of birds here. Yeah, one of those birds just ascended to the heavens as I walked up to it. Do you know Bowman? Don't associate with him. I pay allegiance only to President Dugan. Why? He stands for change. That's why I voted for him. Bowman and his holy guards are an antiquated idea these days. They probably want to go back to a kingship. How different would a kingship be to a dictatorship? Because it sounds like the president wants to just be a dictator. Isn't, isn't wouldn't being like a king be pretty pretty comparable? I don't know. Hello. I wonder why the city is walled up so tight. To keep the curse out, dummy. Yeah, you curse. big idiot. Is your father around? My father is part of Dugan's task force. Dugan. What's that? He helps think up new ideas for the city. They're the ones who brought in the power lines and lit up the streets. Okay. Why is this place called Wind City? B because of the great windmill generators that power the city. Well, my friend says that's not true, that the city is named after the... Oops, I didn't mean to skip that. It doesn't sound very important anyways. Yawn. Trade. Where can I find a man named Bowman? Mourning at the cathedral for his fallen comrades. It's a shame, really. We need him now more than ever. You trade with other nations? Yes, especially Shell 5. Ankara and Janam both buy our Helgak and water for their military. They had a little war a few years ago, but... Nothing's happened since then. They communicate with you often? No, they're too far away for radio. The core energy garbles anything over a half a mile or so. Now, in things with, like, weird anime hair colors... Blue hair, not very strange. Blue beard? That's a little strange. Wow, this is a beautiful city you have. New here, are you? Well... Welcome to Wind City. I notice you have all sorts of gadgets here. We've done much to retrofit our old buildings. Energy from the new power stations to the north is pumped in through large cables. So, we'll probably go through this door first. For a little bit more, though. We're from Shell 2 above you. Can oh, you... Oh, don't tell people that. The went there to stop some smugglers and never came back. I bet the Junkers killed him. Uh, uh, probably. Not, not us, though. We, we had nothing to do with that. Like, yeah, we've heard people's opinions on the, the people of Shell 2 and that... We're being blamed for killing a bunch of people, so... Can you tell me... I would not I go around tell telling everyone where I'm laws. from. Laws? A supply and demand, kid. What's with my voice? Okay, can we shop at you? Where's my cursor? Give the beggar one coin? Sure. Here. One coin for you. Good enough, girl. <laughs> what can I do for you? Doomsday. I don't think I've ever heard of that. What is this place? The Cathedral of the Seven Winds. Home to the Holy Guard of the Seven Winds. What is Who this guy's voice? carry on the traditions of Marduk. I got nothing to say. They aren't admitting visitors, girl. Why not? Yeah, they begin mourning for their fallen lost on Shell 2 in the service of their brothers and sisters of the Seven Winds. Then this is the home of the Holy Guard? What's it look like, an outhouse? 
yes. Let's go in this door. What? Game? Okay. Thought it froze up on me for a moment. Is that Greek? I sure can't read it. Hello, take your time. Oh well. Herbs, relics. Yeah, okay. Card token. Adds to core. Oh, that'd give me more core energy. I see. Well, we have no money. Let's go through these doors. It's really making quite the statement having this pink brick everywhere. I normally think to build my like town walls out of pink brick. I wonder if I can go up to that that one that flies away without it flying away. Let's go in here though. Okay, and when I go inside, the outside's not pink. Is this just the lighting? Nothing else is pink. But well, okay. We'll ignore that. Welcome. Look around. Are you the gun merchant? No, no. We sell engines. Hold. Hold off on buying more equipment till we see if it feels like we're gonna get another party member pretty soon. So. We'll have to gear them up. Do you know Bowman? You'll find all of the Holy Guard in the Cathedral. Bowman and the Guard are a noble breed. The people of this city listen too much to their president, Dugan. Their trust in petty politicians will be the undoing of a hundred years of peace. Why did you retrofit the old buildings instead of just building new ones? Too much history to just destroy them. President Dugan will probably try and change all that, though. He's already tried to <laughs> dissolve the Holy Guard. My name is Maya. This is Grub and Runner. Nice to meet you. I'm Kathy. Oh, wait, 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 are there? Oh, I thought there were fish in this water for a moment. Uh, but there are no fish. It's just like wavy seaweed. Wait, did we go through this door? I didn't even realize that was a door. What a sad look shop. Imagine as a shopkeeper that you have to just stand here all day long. No chair, even. The table's so be? low that you have to like constantly like be bending all the way over to mess with it. At least if you're gonna like get a stand, get like a a standing desk. Okay, so use the armor vendor. Obviously. What do all these pipes do? Does he have like indoor plumbing? Do they have bathrooms? Oh, uh, yeah, I hate it. Anytime that it's like, no, you didn't quite come to a full stop yet. I'm just gonna... <laughs> I just talked to you. That's true. It's I guess pipes are very easy. Why does the music in all of these shops sound so ominous?
got upstairs, bud. Can I interest you in anything? I have swords and uh, short swords. That's it. Even though he clearly has like maces and stuff like that. But whatever. this you have a little like patio or balcony oh no okay that's weird why why would you even have this little second floor it seems real strange the specter of capitalism indeed that's why it's like apocalyptic seeming Oh, okay, we've got some fancy pipes coming out of this build. We... Can we go in here? Oh, okay, we can go in here. Where is this? Did I walk into, like... Yeah, what is this place? Hello. You look like you have a beard, Welcome to man. Wind City's Capitol Building. Can I help you? Oh, I'm looking for a passport. Right, sir. Can I get a passport? I'm afraid that can only be granted by President Dugan's permission. And he's away on official business. Of course. Of course, to get a passport, you have to get the president himself to give you approval, like personally. I'm not sure that's how it how works can here. I contact the Holy Guard? We no longer have any official ties to that branch. Who's in charge here? Our newly elected president. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you have an appointment? Sitting animations uh, no, would have been too much not. work. But at least she has a chair. She has the option to sit down. What kind of communication lines are all over the city? State-of-the-art data transfer lines. They avoid the unreliability of airwave communication. Sounds like she's holding her nose. When she Energy from lines. the core makes it hard to send transmissions further than a few miles. Oh. Oh, okay. Welcome to Wind City's Capitol Building. Can I help you? No, no, no. I was just seeing if I could walk behind you. Immediately open the door. Suddenly carpet. It looks broken. This is supposed to turn. Hmm. I'd need a much bigger wrench to fix that. Why would we even try fixing it? This up, the Book of Drax. Alchemy in modern times. Long ago, legend tells of the ancient necromancer Drax. Lustful of the immortality of the Seraphim, he furtively studied the arts of the undead. It is Drax's curse that even today darkens the graveyards and pollutes the land. Even the ancient catacombs of Wind City, which once stretched from Morn Graveyard all the way to the Cathedral of the Seven Winds itself, were sealed to hold back the forces of the dead. Sir, is this that thing's head? There's an iron collar bolting it to the table. There's an iron collar bolting it to the table. Do I have to find bolt cutter cutters or something? <sighs> Many natural elements can be used for the benefit of mankind. 
The Chosen have taken this way of life to the extreme, with bioengineered ships and armors far superior to that of the lower shells. But as strange as they may seem to us, even stranger are the tales surrounding the blood of the undead. Long rumored to be deadly to the living, some have reason. Oh, okay. Use that the freaking zombie blood to melt the iron. Okay, I just need a jar or something. Don't. I don't want to look at this thing. Stop. <laughs> oh God, yes, that would be great. <laughs> He just has, like, an addiction to fixing things. He can't help himself. He sees an ancient mechanism. He has to fix it. Big Book of the Conjunction. Every 100 years, the shells of Subterra allow enough light to reach the core, an event known as the Conjunction. An unexplainable result of the conjunction is the effect on the creatures of Septera. One of the oddest examples is the Kali crabs of Shell 3. Every 100 years during the conjunction, these deep lake dwellers leave their homes and travel to the shores of their birth, there to spawn, laying the eggs for another generation. Okay, my guess is that will be somehow uh, important later on. Sedna is the queen of the ocean, the master of the life-giving sea. Sedna was a girl who was tricked by a demon into marriage. Rather than surrender to the unholy and deceitful union, she flung herself into the freezing ocean. She is said to watch over the bounty of the sea, and to bless and reward the people who use their marine res resources responsibly, and never overtax the waters. Pilatak is the great and loyal creature that watches and protects Sedna in the service of the elements. Finally, Sedna's water is deadly to the element of fire. Again, I'm assuming this will be relevant. Maybe that's a, a big assumption, but... Okay, come on. Uh, is this just like... A lot of books here. <laughs> yeah, that seems like a very strange um, reproductive strategy for those crabs. In the core of the world, there's a cave, a temple to the three-headed serpent of fire, Ouroboros. Ouroboros is as old as the world, and his body is long enough to encircle Through the fury he feels at his lack of unity, Ouroboros generates light and heat to warm and fuel Septera. Some legends have said that the world will end when the three heads agree on any one thing. Finally, Ouroboros' fire bakes the element of earth. Okay, so we're getting like a little bit of a rock, paper, scissors uh, information going on. Son of the creator and the celestial giver of the law, Arduk is the primary demigod of the subterran world. Sometime in the ancient past, usually dated as 2145 CR, Marduk was commanded by the creator to enter into the material worlds of men, tasked with retrieving the Korra keys and rescuing the angel Kira from the demon Gemma. Marduk set upon his task and changed history forever. Raising an army of men from every world shell, the army of the seven winds, Marduk discovered the location of Gemma's hidden Hidden Fortress? Hidden Fortress, and began his assault. It was here that he battled the massive core creature demon that guarded Gemma's fortress, and then did battle with Gemma for a hundred days. The triumphant Marduk destroyed the blasphemer and smote his temple, rescuing Kira and the artifacts for all mankind. To this day, the guard of Wind City carry on Marduk's demon force technique wielding mastery over the use of dimensional gates. Fortress. <laughs> oh, okay. It's not a big truck. It's a series of snakes. <laughs> hey, Star.
Been a while. Hey, how's it going? Not a very talkative fellow. Silent. God, so much to read. The seven layers of continents that orbit our planet, called world shells, are each connected to the Great Spine. The rotations of the shells turn the joints of the spine and create vast amounts of power, which is collected in the core. Here it is used to run its ancient machinery and regulate every aspect of the planet. Excess energy is radiated from the core into the world. This energy can be used for many purposes, from running machinery to casting spells. Every living thing has the ability to tap this energy and use it. Humans can replenish their core energy by sleeping, or by using ancient relics called core runes to quickly regain energy. Core engines are special devices that draw in core power from the world and store it for use in machines. Interesting. Yeah, I know. I, uh, I'm glad that you had some fun in Alaska. I love the, uh, the moose pictures. They're the Greybeards? Yes, Alex. Battle between Marduk and Gemma may be long over, but their struggle for the hearts and minds of the people of Subterra will rage quietly for a long time. It is said that combining the fate cards of the Giver of Law and the Maker of Chaos creates powerful spells, reflecting the intensity of the epic war waged by the two fates who have shaped our world. Okay, I'm... There's too many things to read. I'm not going to read them right now. If it becomes material later on, I will I will come back and read more. This guy has a different color robe. What is this place? This is the library of Wind City. What would you like to know? I have the statue. Do you know anything about the statue in the graveyard? It's the likeness of an ancient necromancer. Oh, Drax. okay. The statue was defiled years ago. Its head lies in the library for safekeeping. Some say the head was removed to keep the curse of Drax from animating the statue. Just a myth. But that's just a myth. Err. Monk. What's up with the monks? They have taken a vow of silence in protest to the proposed dissolution of the Holy Guard. The monks have proposed a system by which the city would be run by both the guard and the presidency, with the library as a third branch to keep power balanced. That's not cool. But the people do not listen. Well, they won't listen if you if you don't talk. Okay. Um. So I'm not sure we actually learned anything useful here just yet. Now, I'm sure some of it will be useful, like, later on for puzzle solving or something. <laughs> Extreme to the max. Totally. Okay, what, what, what did he say he needed to fix this? A wrench? This is supposed to turn. Hmm. A much a bigger ranch, sure. <sighs> Get out of here. Uh, I still have a jar. Hmm. I figure out where I would get some sort of a vessel to put zombie blood in. No, oh, I can't go in. Looks like there's something I can explore over here, though. Sir, you're in my way, sir. Okay. They hid a little, like, uh, path that leads to nothing. Really? 
Just nothing? Why even have this be accessible? Maybe, maybe we'll come here later on. The heck? Okay, there's there's nothing in here. That's cool. I thought I found like there'd be a chest some or something on the other side. Uh, so of all of these shopkeeps, who the heck would give me a jar? Sir, do you have a jar? Ah, uh, hold on, my computer's acting up. Wait, your computer? Excuse me, what? How big is this kingdom anyway? Kingdom? <laughs> We're a corporate city-state with a profit by the workers for the workers. Well, that's what President Dugan says. Like, does he, do people in this have, like, personal computers that they bring with them places? What you got there? Yeah, it's a computer I use to keep track of my work. But he it's just carries a computer with him? Let me see what I can do. Ah, you need the new OS upgrade. Crap. Thanks, though. Yeah, let me repay you for your help. Okay, sure. Makes perfect sense. Wow, this is a beautiful city you have. New here, are you? Well, oh, uh, we talked to you. Get out. Um, I didn't see a jar in there. Like, is it something a merchant will sell us? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't understand the, like, you go in this room, and it's like, oh, okay, there's like a barren medieval weapons storage and fo small forge area. Then people are like walking around with computers and like Walkman disc players. So confused. I've been pretty good, Star. Um, very stressed. Uh, last anything? week was was stressful but this week's looking a lot better so I basically didn't do anything last week I was just a hermit so where's my cursor I cannot stand the game doing this to my cursor there what there we go okay still just swords Where the heck am I find the jar I ask him about jars. No. I will talk to all the merchants a second time. Will it be? No, they're not going to have jars, but I have to try, right? Nope, no jars. I don't even have a hint of where to go. You sell engines. I don't think you'll have a jar. Maybe the general merchant. Maybe I have to go back to South Farm or something. Well, this guy looks like he should have jars. Hello, take your time. I'm oh, sorry, this woman, this lady. Hmm. Well, I mean, I'm looking through all the names, and this is just. Some sort of a container, I'm assuming it will be. I mean, it might, probably not jar, but a, a vial or... I don't know. They aren't admitting visitors, girl. Why not? Yeah, they begin mourning for their fault. Yeah. I'll look again through her stock because I didn't really look that closely. And then I'll go back to the monks and see if maybe it's something like on a shelf or something in there. 
Hello, take your time. I'd love to take my time, but there we go. Let's actually read all of these. Okay, so it's definitely not Sun and Shield. None of the merchants. Or none of the, like, normal shopkeeps. I'm making the perhaps incorrect assumption that either it's in here somewhere or it's in South Farm. I'm selling a big wrench. Hey, how's it going? Not a very talkative fellow. Indeed. Favorite ghost stories. Okay, I don't think that we looked at that. Jars. Or not jars. Maybe something else. Containment vessel. Urns. Hey, how's it going? Maybe I needed one of those uh, things that those pickaxe ninjas carry on their backs. Maybe I'll go look at the. Yeah, we'll go look at that, uh, the iron again, and maybe now that I've talked to that guy, maybe the character will have, um, like some sort of a hint in the dialogue description. Wait, did I read this? Yeah, I did. That's why we know we need acid. There's an iron collar bolting it to the table. Thanks. Okay, maybe we will go back to the graveyard in South Farm. Four hundred. South Farm is 405 miles away from me. I, d I had no idea. No, Google, stop it. Google, stop. Jeez. I don't even know what trick you did. Yeah, yeah, they probably expected me to go to Wind City before going to South Farm anyways. So maybe now that I know what I need, I can head over to South Farm. Maybe someone will have some new dialogue. <laughs> South Farmers. Whoa, um, okay, this is a, a new dance that we've invented.
This bucket, maybe. <laughs> oh, maybe he has a doohickey. There's some cool stuff here. You have an interesting collection of gadgets here. Gadgets? You know, stuff, devices, cool things. Yeah, do you have a big <laughs> ranch? You mean my doohickeys. Oh, you do sell big wrenches. Can I interest you in anything? Oh, I don't know. Again. Cursor. Speed shoes. Those would be nice. And they are pretty cheap. Yeah, they don't give me more speed. They just give me more armor? That's weird. I'm going to skip them for now. Jars. I'll get like a cup from you, sir. What'll it be? Can I order another drink? I guess not. I got nothing to say. Things seem slow in town. Ask the drunkards around here. They have more time to drink and gossip since they lost their jobs. They lose their jobs? Oh, I didn't even go in here. Oh, is this their bathroom? Okay, this is the bathroom. It's, um, hmm. Looks very splintery. I guess you just wash up in these big rain barrels. What is this on the wall? Looks like a sort of dispenser that you might actually find in, like, a bathroom. And not a medieval bathroom. I don't know. This, I'm very confused by the, the level of technology. Like, look at this guy's jacket. And then you look at the sort of bathrooms that they have. I don't... One more building we go in. What do you do again? What can I do for you? What do you sell here? I carve art from the bones of the Helgak. Well, okay, maybe he can help us. Do you know anything about the statue in the graveyard? Not one of my works, but a dark story lurks behind its creation. Okay. Long ago, a powerful and rich man wished to cheat the coming of his death. Upon this pursuit, he spent his fortune, and some say that he was successful, that one day he'll rise from the grave to reclaim his treasures. But all that remains of him now is that statue. His spirit is said to haunt the graveyard, and many say his curse to this day resurrects the dead. Yeah, but you have, like, a jar. <laughs> cool story, bro. Welcome. Look around. Uh, let's see. Acid vial. Acid vial. Do we, do we need more than one? Let's just take one. Maybe we need two because they're, like, two sides of the bolt? I don't know. Hopefully we can do it in multiple trips if we need to. Also, this is going to be the only thing that we will use the acid vial for, or will it have other uses? Like, can we use the vial filled with acid as, like, a weapon? Yeah, give me that blood. Ooh, what a mess. Okay. Acid vial. Um. Nope. Acid vial. Ew. 
It's full of zombie blood. <laughs> it's full of zombie blood. Okay, we are making progress. I'll pour it on the iron bolt. Oh, I still don't know where to get a big wrench. Maybe once we, f maybe once we fight the uh, necromancer after we reassemble the statue, he'll drop a big wrench. Hmm. I need to remember I can just hold the mouse button down instead of clicking like I'm playing Diablo. Nope, this way. So, we have zombie blood. Stand back! That's what that guy's head actually looked like. Eves vandalizing their little museum display. I like this running around puzzle finding a lot more than I like the combat. I actually just wish that this was a point and click adventure game. Battle. Oh, we should be able to use zombie blood to break the lock on this gate, too. I'm sure we can't, but that would be cool. Okay, I'm gonna save my game right before we do this. Because I'm sure this will be an epic battle. Raximum. Let's go. This does not look like the statue of a dude. It's like a horrible dark world. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. What could go? I don't. I don't know. Like in character, I don't know why we would have done that. But when it's a game, obviously we're supposed to. Um, I'm just gonna focus on him still. Hopefully, we can tank some zombies. What the heck? lot of damage, but I was expecting more from that animation. Oh, I wonder if you can hit that zombie too. Or 
sort of lined up, right? What? Yes. Did he just life siphon a robot? That's not how things work. Is he technically undead? Can I use like healing magic to hurt him maybe? I love in like Final Fantasy games where you can just use a phoenix down on a big boss and kill him. Yeah, we need to just focus everything on the big guy. Try and out damage his healing. Whoa, okay, those zombies do a lot of damage. Oh, they're going to kill um bro. Alright that. Please die, sir. Okay, let's heal Grub. He can't take another hit. Eat some bread. We're being attacked by zombies in a graveyard in the rain, but you can definitely take a moment to just eat a slice of bread. Oh, oops, 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 oops. oops. How long has he been charged? What? We'll have to heal again soon. He might die in one hit, actually, from that zombie. Uh, he should probably eat more bread while he can. Oh, what a waste of good bread. I guess I have mana. I can actually use my healing magic. I did not see that because I was so hyper focused on the uh, action bars over here. Yeah, I guess maybe I can't have to do that. Good idea. Well, can't we save himself? I think Runner uh, <laughs> might be doomed now. Maybe I should have repaired Runner. Wait, did that heal or damage it? Uh, everyone's just like that. I need to use a, a party heal. Fuck. Oh god, is this a TPK right here? Oh. Um... I think the soul stone will resurrect them. I have to use normal reses. Here. That's going to kill me though. Fuck to you, runner. This is not good plan. You res people? No? Okay. Well, 
Let's just charge our laser. No, yes, man, we'll get lucky before they murder us. I didn't realize zombies did so much damage. I should have just focused on uh, clearing them before him, I guess. Up. No! <laughs> wow. That is uh, disappointing. Try again. Be smarter now. Oh. Well, we will attempt to be smarter. Probably won't actually be. Until the zombies spawn, let's obviously just go to the Try and pay attention to whether the heal actually. What that just? I completely wasted that. Weird how this uh, zombie shadow is like getting cut off a bit. point-blank range. Once I kill the zombies, he'll just summon more. Like, I should be focusing on him, I think. Okay, two zombies down. Oh no, uh, Grub, 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 what are you doing? Grub, you need to heal yourself. Uh, eat bread. They're really picking on Grub. He's gonna die.
I wonder if we leave one zombie alive, maybe he won't summon more. Like a, a big party heal now. Nice. Potion. Oh, that wasn't a smelling salt. Oh, that's why I couldn't use it earlier. Just one zombie, hopefully runner can tank it. What are you casting? Okay, run. 15 damage? I just somehow assumed that the zombies would all die when you die. It may be worth it. What is the Earth Fate card? Geo Strike. Oh, okay, that's the rock thing. Probably save and. Probably head back and heal up to restore our energy or something, but God, this place is huge. Fever? up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got a cool card and uh, some XP. But I did vandalize um, the little library and uh, a historically significant statue. Absolutely correct. Are these different types of zombie or is that just a different player? I didn't think about it that far. Well, at least we killed Drax. Should have gone and healed up before. Nice. Nice. 
Maybe this is just the, like the customary burial clothing of this culture. Funeral jorts. No repair? No. It must be too AP. He can use his staff as a big wrench. <laughs> yes. The Shroud of Denim. Oh, that stinks. Better go help the, the kiddo. They're gonna kill Runner. So close. Repair. And yeah, I think that we need to retreat. We'll go rest to get our core energy up. I don't want to use items. Maybe we'll keep going. As long as we can get enough breads, we will keep going. Seven breads. Here's a bread. Here's a bread. This. Is this zombie blood? Well, there's nothing this way. Maybe there's a chest. Ooh, a door. Hello, who's there? It's locked. Okay. I wonder if that's gonna be like where the end of the dungeon sort of is, and that's like the shortcut how it A lever. Oh, okay. Okay. And that is the only way we can go. Room protocols. That would be fantastic. You'd think since we're all like armed, we'd be able to break a simple door. You know what? Are these two lined up? I know we. I should let them charge a little bit. Okay, let's see if we can get both of them. Heck yeah. The creeping dead. You don't have to jump for that, bro. We could have just like taken a step.
<laughs> oh god. You're right, that makes it way worse. We've desecrated all of your ancestors. Uh, graveskeeper, whatever comes back after we claim it saved. There's just nothing, nothing even left of the place. Just destroyed it. So it looks like there's a dead end over here, but. What? What are these? Okay. Well, that's new. I'm just a little hungry. Oh, I don't do a lot of damage. Their bite is more powerful than their flame attack. That looked a little bit sus. <laughs> oh, when I see flying skulls, I just think like doom. What? Okay, you survived. That's true. Though only turns on like angles. Doesn't want to look exactly at you, just in your general direction this. It's locked. This wall looks unstable. I'll bet a well-placed bomb could bring down this whole wall. Oh. <laughs> How about you charge your beam cannon runner? <laughs> no? Okay. We need to heal. Have breads for the living. <laughs> grenade sandwich. Oh, you need a grenade. We have to go this way. I sure hope that there's a grenade here somewhere. No way do I. I'm assuming as soon as we leave this zone, everything will respawn, right? So. I do not want to go back to town. I guess maybe that'd just be a bunch more free XP, but...
There's a door. Okay, is that just like maybe secret content? Maybe we don't have to go that way right now. But we'll have to remember to come back with a wall. Oh. What is Who are you? There's no time to explain. I've come to warn you of a coup led by Dugan. Dugan? He's in league with Wait, the what? Chosen. Lord Bowman's strange troops assault the streets, and warships have been seen on the horizon. Dugan and his bounty hunters are at the cathedral doors. Retreat through the catacombs. Quick, we must hurry. No, go without me. I'll buy you the time. Never. It's not bad enough. Is he Running joining like our dogs. party? You want us to abandon our lord as well? Go. If you stay, we all fall. Layla, the task of leadership now falls to you. Go to the mountains. Don't let the hope of Marduk die. I'll do my best. Take good care of my daughter. Yes, sir. Curse you, Regan. Are you finally satisfied? Cut him down. What are you waiting for? Follow my orders. He's no longer a threat. Why do we have to? I don't see any... Because I pay you good money, dog. Now do as I say. Oh, don't okay. ever question me again. Now find the others. Hunt them down and bring me their bodies. I was hoping you'd join our party. I guess not. Maybe one of the others will. Someone who uses a sword will. Uh, so... Corgan, we need to split up. The guard will come with me. Go with these outlanders. Meet us at the mountains. Outlanders? And don't be followed. Runner, come back! Grub, we have to get out of here. But... Corgan. Yes? Take care of yourself. And you. Well, this guy's... Let's go, before those bounty hunters find us. Sure. So, I know that someone... In when said he did mention that the catacombs used to connect the graveyard and the cathedral, but for some reason I completely like just immediately put that out of my head the moment that I heard that, and so I was very surprised that we went through his door and we're suddenly in the cathedral. It seemed like it didn't feel like we traversed that much distance. Uh, let me look at this guy. Observe. Well, I think that's something we will never be doing. Oh, okay. Uh, he's level 7. No. If he's level 7, does that mean that, like, I should be level 7? And not level 4 and 6? So that's why things are seeming so difficult, because I'm just a total scrub lord, right, scrub right now. Okay. It is weird that only one of them came with us, and we sent one person from our group with them. It, that is really stupid, but... Okay. Get out of here. I guess we need to get some XP to get Grub's level up so he doesn't have such abysmal health. I don't know why Grub is so far behind everyone else, but. Um, let's protect Grub. Oh, okay, I'm liking the sword attack. And his energy bar charged up faster than runners, so... Okay. Maybe, uh, maybe we stick with this guy. Oh, you know what? No, we have to get Runner back just because I like using him to talk to people. Oh, okay. Maybe that is why. 
I think there's only one combat, though, that we actually got through that people were dead at the end. And that was at that uh, bar in um, whatever the heck city with the three ninjas. Yeah, I, I really like Runner just, you know, speaking in his weird robot language to people and then ignoring him. Take this guy. This guy's sick. Okay. Oh, it's because his strike is so high. And his everything is so high. And he actually has core, unlike Runner. And, uh, so we have, like, a lot more core energy right now as well. Oh, you don't have a bomb, dude, do you? Um... Whoa, why didn't we use this earlier? The Silver Clove. I don't think you need this parcel. You need the Silver Clove more. You can take the Hearthstone. Um, okay, so you're not the one that wears the animal skins. There's some other person who wears animal skins that we will... Oh no, I'm looking at something and realizing something. Is this guy not going to stay a party member? Oh, okay. Because his inventory thing has like way fewer stuff, that, like slots in it. I don't even know what these slots are for. Grenades? No. <laughs> yeah, I guess even human skins are animal skins. That's not usually, like, uh, an accessory that I have to put on. Power is damage? Okay. Okay. That that makes sense actually. Based on the names that makes sense. Okay, let's keep um cool, let's keep Grub from getting ganged up on. Yeah, I'm going to have to, I guess, just find somewhere to, like, grind and level up. Which is, like, the least fun thing of any game, but... Maybe 
the grub and, and take out this one. I'm just thinking of like how much XP he'll need to get to level 7. Thousands. Ugh. What? What have we here? More meat for the slaughter? Oh, right, Duke. Yeah, perhaps they'll put up more of a fight than their leader. Are you in danger too? Oh, crap. I haven't saved recently, have I? That's no good. Um, maybe I should even throw down a potion, actually. Yeah, you. Let's use a potion. We're all getting kind of low. It's waste of a potion, but... Okay, we'll take out the ninja first. Oh, he has like a rocket launcher, like a grenade launcher. That's his hand? Not this guy, the, the other guy. Yeah, I don't mean the guy throwing hands, but this, uh, the guy with black hair. These guys aren't so tough. I wonder how far we'll, we'll manage to get in the game without doing any dedicated grinding. Because if I do have to just wander around for like an hour fighting, that's going to stink. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? He didn't even try. Maybe he's already at low health. Okay, well, Grub got to level 5 now. Run! We'll hunt down all of you. Why wouldn't we coup de gras them? Like, make sure that they're dead. Before running away. Like, just slip their throats. We'll go through the graveyard. They'll never follow us there. Why? It's crawling with the undead. Maybe this isn't the greatest of ideas. I thought you didn't believe in curses. No time for arguments. Make haste. Well, you first. In you go, wuss boy. <laughs> Love it. You know, I think this is a good stopping point, actually. It's pretty late. I haven't had dinner yet. I probably should eat dinner. Uh, but I'm having a blast so far. Save. <laughs> uh, thanks for, like, hanging out, um, Crimson. That was fun. And I will definitely have to check out um, Planescape Torment. Um, it's a game that I've heard a lot of good things about. And I think would probably be up my alley, but it just hasn't, uh, I've just had too many other things sort of on, on the docket to get to it, so. 
<laughs> yeah, this is a uh, this is great. I I wish I had played this, you know, when it when it came out like <laughs> decades ago. So, it'd probably be a lot better with that um sort of nostalgia and and in its own era, but Oh, really? It was. It was. Oh. <laughs> I was assuming it's probably going to be buggier now just because, you know, you're running on operating systems that didn't exist and it was actually a real pain. I'm having to use like unofficial patches and stuff just to get it to run in windowed mode and it's kind of like just a bit a, a nightmare it was to get running. Ugh. Yeah, at least I haven't had any crashes or anything like that yet, so I know some of these old games, you know get it to run but every half hour it'll it'll crash on you so <laughs> uh but yeah this was great and i can't wait to do more but um yeah i, I have to eat something uh, i really lost track of time and i'm starving <laughs> but yeah later peace out oh thank you so much crimson cantata is now following well later and uh, I'll probably do more of this not tomorrow, um, but on Thursday, Thursday evening. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, hopefully see you then. Later.